Jacob, if I can ask you, will the U.S. support Israel's military attacks in Gaza for as long as it takes until the hostages are freed or until Hamas is destroyed? I guess in simple terms, how much retaliation in Gaza is the U.S. willing to accept? I don't think of this in terms of retaliation. This is about providing support to Israel as it seeks to defend its territory and deal with an ongoing imminent threat from Hamas terrorists who, as I said before, are acting a heck of a lot like ISIS terrorists in their barbarity and cruelty. That requires going after Hamas terrorist targets in Gaza because even as we speak, even as I stand here, there could be rockets flying out of Gaza. Going after those sites, that's not retaliation. That's Israel stepping up to defend itself and ensure the safety and security of the Israeli people. And we're going to support them for as long as they need to ensure that Israel is safe and secure. And I can't put a timetable on that. So to be clear, is the goal the destruction of Hamas, the guarantee that Hamas cannot launch attacks from there, the confirmation that all Americans and Israelis have been secured safely from there? What is where do you draw the line? Is there a red line? And where do you draw that line of what you need to accomplish, what I'm they not, may accomplish? I'm not standing up here to draw red lines. What I'm standing up here to say is that in its hour of need, as Israel embarks on an operation to try to protect its country, protect the Jewish state of Israel, and to go after the threats that it faces, and also working closely with them hand in hand to try to secure the release and recovery of American and other hostages, we will do all of that. And I'm not here to, to draw red lines or issue warnings or give lectures to anybody. I'm here to say that the president has given us direction to take a series of actions. We are undertaking those actions, and we will continue to do so in the weeks ahead. Last one, very yeah. quickly, that we heard from the families of Americans who are unaccounted for right now. They spoke publicly in Israel today. You said the president hasn't spoken to them directly. What is the president's message to those families right now who said it is the responsibility of the president of the United States to make sure their loved ones come home safely? The president said in his remarks today that as president of the United States, he has no higher priority than the safety and well-being of Americans held hostage overseas. And he has proven in country after country his willingness to go further than any other president has gone before to se secure the release and bring those people home. He is going to try to do that in this case as well, but that is a high priority for him, and that is the message that, that he is sending, along with a deep sense of understanding of the grief and hurt.